Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your Amazon Fire Stick remote. And this is actually really easy to do. Now the first thing we're going to do is unplug our Amazon Fire Stick from the wallet for 60 seconds. And then we're going to leave it unplugged. So I have this signal in the background. Now I'm going to go to my Amazon Fire Stick and I want to hold the left button, the back button, and the menu button down at the same time. So this, this, and this. And we're going to hold this down for 12 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now we're going to let go. And there's not going to be like any blinking light or anything indicating that uh, my remote is now reset. So you just have to hold it down for 12 seconds, count slow. Then we're gonna remove the batteries from the remote and then place them back in. And sometimes your batteries can be completely drained. There's some sort of glitch with the Fire Stick remote right now where it just drains batteries really quick. So remove the batteries and put them back in and now reconnect your fire stick to the wall outlet or whatever power source you have it plugged in and then we're going to have to wait for it to boot up and reconnect and this might take some time so make sure the batteries are back in now or replace them if you haven't done that already so these should be good now we're going to want to hold down the home button for 10 seconds and this will put the remote into the Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'm going to hold this down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and there should be a light blinking up right now. Okay, that's good. This is an indication that's in the Bluetooth pairing mode and it's looking for a device to connect to. Now make sure you're in the line of sight and you're close to your fire stick so it can actually find it and detect it and connect to it. Also make sure you have no additional fire TV or fire stick products in your house that your remote could be trying to connect to. So that could be an issue if you're holding down the pairing button and you're connecting to a different device than the one you want to. So just unplug those devices. Now sometimes this may take a while for you to reconnect just simply hold down the home button and keep putting it into the Bluetooth pairing mode. And it might take like three or four different tries. So I'm just going to continue to hold this down and see if it reconnects. Sometimes it just goes on and a, a pop-up pops up on the screen where it says no remote connected. And that's usually when this will work for me. So once that pop-up appears on the screen, is when it will work and that takes about four or five minutes for that to appear so just make sure everything is just fully booted and keep holding this down and eventually you should reconnect now if you don't reconnect there is another solution so here it is and it's going to tell you what to do so it says place the remote closer to the amazon fire tv stick 4k okay so i'm going to go literally right next to it because it's under my desk right now then I'm going to hold this down, insert new alkaline batteries, unplug your Fire TV, uh, wait five seconds, then plug it back in. If your remote still isn't working, reset it. So that's literally what I did. And it says you can use the Fire TV app. So this is usually when it starts to work. So boom, it's working for me. But I'll show you the Fire TV app. So let me bring it up on my phone right now. So you need to go to the Google Play Store and you need to get this. So let me just uh, focus in on my phone. So here's the Google Play Store and there's the Fire TV app right here. It's called Amazon Fire TV. Get this and open it up and make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is on. And then if your Fire TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi, you should be able to just find it pop up on a list. And then you can control this. And you want to go all the way to the settings. And there's going to be an option for uh, the controller and Bluetooth devices. 
So let's go all the way over to the right, go on down, go to controllers and Bluetooth devices right there, and then go to Fire TV remotes, go to add remote, and this screen, once you get to this screen, this should be able to find any kind of device now. So right here I have searching, and my remote should connect under here. So I should be good to go now once everything is connected. And you might have to do this too if you're using like a Fire TV remote. You might have to still come to this section and add a new remote because uh, the Alexa button won't work. So it's working for mine because I have a Fire Stick, but I found like with the Fire TV remotes, if you have a Fire TV, that might not work for you. So I got the Amazon Fire Stick remote, but hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.